Now let me show you how to do linear area and volume takeoffs with your ScaleMaster Pro XC. The first thing you want to do is check your plans, make sure you got the right scale. Here we're showing a quarter inch architectural, which is what this plan is. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the lock switch on there, shows that it's locked, it won't change on me. Uh, the next thing you would do is if you were doing, let's say, a linear takeoff for pipe or wire or perimeter or trenches or something, is clear the display and align the pointer with the start point. Let's go ahead and look at this wire here and just take that there and that there and take this wire here, go through the whole plan and accumulate all the wire, go from sheet to sheet. I could put it in the memory if I like and accumulate the linear values or area values or volume values, just not mixing them together. Um, to do, let me clear that, to do an area takeoff, an area and volume takeoff, let's say, I'd say roll the base of this patio slab out here, line it up with the corner, clear the display to zero, and roll the width of it here. I'm going to call that just length. And I'm going to come up to the top and roll down to that corner, 30 feet. When I press the length times width, it gives me the square footage of that patio, 339 uh, square feet, surface area feet there. I can press this key again because I've got stored well, first, it's going to be the perimeter. It's going to be the four sides, the two lengths and the two widths perimeter around this. So if I was doing form boards or anything, edge treatment, I would need to know the lineal uh, perimeter of that. Pressing it again, though, will give me a cubic yardage because I've got stored a depth of four inches. Uh, so for a slab volume, that would be a little bit over four cubic yards for that particular slab. So that's a quick example on doing a linear, an area, or a volume takeoff with the ScaleMaster Pro. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.